Bitch, I beat my mug today. And let me tell you. Okay. I came and I received. Okay, that's what happened today. All right. Mm-hmm. And this lipstick, I wasn't even feeling it when I put it on. I'm talking about the first color, but then I was like, you know what? You know what's going to make it better? I'm going to add some Penelope. I'm telling you, that black lipstick, I really didn't think I was going to fuck with it. I was like, it's too spooky for me. It's scaring me. It's not really making me think of fashion. It's making me think of spooky times. Spooky times Halloween. Halloween town. So I just decided, you know, um, the color was like a real orangey. It was a really bright coral. So what I did is I just added some Penelope to the corners of my lips. Yes, because you know, big lips that people grow. Yes. Um, my lipstick sometimes begin on my chin because my lip is so damn luscious and luxurious. So there's that. Um, I also want to update y'all on my hair. Yes. Let's talk about my hair. Um, so it's not the color I want it to be. I know like at the ends from where you're looking, it probably doesn't look as gray as it looks to me in real life, especially with the lighting. It probably looks like an ash blonde or something and it's not. It, the roots are actually like a dark um, red, like a deep ass red, chocolatey almond. Um, it's a color I heard of. So anyways, so then from, from, but then as you move on down the hair shaft, um, that's where, you know, you get this like really light kind of yellowish kind of color. It's like pale yellow and then it like turns into full on gray. But I can tell from the light and also I have lavender walls. So I'm sure it's looking more ashy blonde, but I assure you it is not. Um, I mean, shout out to the walls though for helping me out. But what I'm trying to, the effect I was going for is white hair. I wanted a white afro. That's what I've been trying to get. Um, I'm in a position to where I could dye my hair again, but I'm, I'm choosing to wait. Cause like my hair feels like it's been through something. I've been like, you know, doing like hot oil treatments with coconut oil for the past couple of days. And you know, I'm going to get together a hair mask so that I can put some more, um, so I can get the pH right. I was going to use some Afigy and just, you know, kind of bring my hair back with a protein but um I'm not sure when I'm gonna get into that but right now my next hair project is is gonna be some silky dreads I'm really excited about it because um I saw a tutorial and I'm going to boop, click on this if you want to go to the tutorial I looked at and um it looks really cool and it looks really easy I like how um the person in the video what they did is they put some like some yarn in between their hair and braided it and then and then braided the yarn uh, cause I purchased some white yarn and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do some yarn braids and then I'm going to take my, uh, yakki and I'm going to wrap it around and do some silky dread. So it's going to be, um, the roots are going to be, you know, this color, but my hair's going to grow out a little bit. I can tell my hair grows like really fast. So like I already, um, I already see like some parts of my, uh, my hair follicle, like turning like dark, dark brown again. So, um, I think it's going to be, it's going to look cool. I think as it grows out. Um, but my, my plan is to have white hair, so I'm trying, trying really hard not to touch my hair for like two months and just like do these silky dreads as like a protective style. Hopefully like if I like them, I'll do them again and that's what my style, my protective style will be while my hair grows out from this damage because it really like, I mean like as I dyed it, you know, and toned it, I felt like it went back and forth between feeling like shit and feeling good. And this last time when I toned it, I feel like I left the toner on for a little bit longer than I needed to. And I just feel like my hair was just like, whoa, like my hair went through some real shit. So I'm just really excited now to just have my hair, you know, just be doing something else. You know what I mean? Like I, I've, I really love my natural hair, but I think I really love experimenting with color with my natural hair just because it looks really cool. Like, you know, the things that you can do with it, like in the front of my hair, I just have some quick like little knots that I made just so that like it can be out of my face and it can still be like tall. Um, but there's like so many styles I like to do. One of my favorite styles um, for my natural hair, I'm going to take out these knots so that I can show you my favorite style that I like to do with my hair because... A lot of people have been asking for me to do a tutorial on this and I figured I could and I would. Okay. And actually, you know, while I while I do my hair, I'm actually going to um, be sharing some new music with y'all. You know, um, I know a lot of y'all out here, if you have any kind of following on the internet from time to time, you know, you get 
people, you know, who send you music and you're like, I'm not Diddy, like I can't help you really. But, you know, they want you to like really, you know, listen to their music and potentially share it with your peoples. Um, but you know, this is a more local artist. It's somebody that I really fucks with who has been just struggling to get out there on their own and you know, I really feel like I could help them right now. Um, you know, more than I've already helped them so much with letting them use my channel part time. I didn't really want to talk about it like that, but really Francine. Um, but anyways, this is off Francine's new track. So while I do my hair, that's what she'll be listening to is my girl Francine, you know, breaking it down like she always do. You know, she always come through. So let me not speak no ill will. Okay, so while I do my hair, you know, listen to Francine. Bust it on maybe. I got that dangerous pussy. I got that dangerous pussy. You come over here and you see. I got that dangerous juice. I got that dangerous pussy. Yo, yo, my name is Francine, I got that danger pussy and it's juicy and it's good and it's gooder than a motherfucker. I've been riding all day with this pussy crew, cause you know what they say, you know what pussy do. I make them ride it, then I make them bite it, then I make them wash it, then I make them fold it, then I make them hold it, then I make them console it, then I make them come back now and just pull it. Yeah, I make a nigga watch that pussy, wash that pussy, dish that dishy. I don't even need to know you, nigga, cause I already tried to phone you, nigga. And you ain't pick up, and you ain't call the bitch back, so get that danger pussy out. Cause you know I got the gap, hold the gun between my lips and shit. Lady and Menorah, it's the majority of niggas that's boring me. I'm out here with my danger pussy crew, danger pussy do what danger pussy do. Thanks for watching. Take care.